Colleges and universities are opening back up next month here in Springfield, but things will look a little different. MSU and OTC hosted a joint press conference today to talk about those reopening plans. MSU's president and OTC's chancellor wore masks until it was their turn to talk at the podium, which was more than six feet away from the people in the room. Ozark's Fox's Francis Lynn tells us more about reopening procedures and guidelines at Missouri State and OTC. For now, the plan is for MSU to be reopened for the fall semester for in-person classes on August 17th and OTC on August 24th. I have one seated class in the upcoming semester, so I was a little concerned about that. I am just excited to go back onto campus. Lauren Stockham and Christina Wynn will be attending MSU in the fall. Both MSU and OTC have mandatory mask requirements. Masking required in classrooms, labs, shuttles, testing centers. If you're in the commons area, if you're in the classroom, if you're any side in, anywhere inside the building, there'll be no exceptions to the masking rule. Students who refuse to wear a mask at OTC will be asked to leave, and at MSU, if they do not, they will be dropped from the class. Now, if they do that within the first week, they get their money back. Uh, if you do it in week four, you can get part of your money back. Students I spoke to say they're glad there is a masking policy in place. Wearing a mask for me is not difficult. It makes me feel a lot safer. Me wearing a mask is not mainly for my safety. It's for everybody else's safety. OTC's Dr. Hal Higdon explains the reasoning behind the masking requirement. And someone asked, why would you require a mask? I said, why would you not have a speed limit on national? It's not a good idea to go 95 miles an hour down national. It's not a good idea not to wear a mask. It's just common sense. Our option was to go all online or to require masks and have seated classes, and that's what we've chosen to do. Our doctors, our health system, our um, both health systems, our health department, the CDC all tell us masking works. If you come to OTC, you're going to wear a mask. There's science behind a mask. And it's kind of the only thing that we have right now because there's no vaccine, there's no treatment. Requiring it in classrooms is going to be the most efficient way for all of us to be able to like continue being on campus while also, you know, minimizing the spread. We still have some areas to finalize, including our masking policy and our testing policy. And those final masking plans will be decided and presented on August 6th. Francis Lynn Ozarks first. Both MSU and OTC have also made changes to their academic calendars this year due to COVID-19. There's also other safety and sanitary guidelines for campus. They're both on our website, ozarksfirst.com.